I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. I really wouldn't want to. There anything else around here that I can possibly play with because I don't want to play with his laptop. But I think I don't have a choice. Okay. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. Bad idea. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Okay, Maybe wedding we picture. Stepdad for the password. Stepdad. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Okay. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. He wouldn't use a date, it's too simple. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Oh, what a year. That's cute. Could be a password here. To a real life hero. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. I suppose it doesn't matter if we enter in wrong passwords. Now the car looks ready to roll. <laughs> this is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. No. David has been dragging this head around since 2001. Okay. Done the book. I could try the license number for the password. Again, dumb. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Yeah, nothing else around here. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. <laughs> nothing in it. Okay. Um. Oh. oh shit balls. <sighs> Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Um. Two, three. Right. Doubt <laughs> it's going to be that. Nope. Army. Magic Eight Ball says no. No way, Max. You told top. <laughs> Okay. Sweet. 
such wrong. Worst hacker ever. Alright. Back. 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 Family. Oh, shit balls. Score. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel Amber with Prival. Rachel has been cutting classes all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Arcadia Bay Police Report. Case number 678. Initial report. Rachel Amber. 18 was picked up at 2.45 at Bakewell Academy for possession of controlled substances. This was reported by David Madison, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This offer was uh, this officer was called in to question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached full page. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. So what's this one say? Kate M follows the same pass every uh, every class. I've heard Kate and Dana talking about supplies for Vortex Club Party drugs. Watched Kate and her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than students. Drugs. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown man with goatees. Uh, Kate has to keep herself kept to herself since Vortex Party. Not even church drugs. Tried to talk to Kate about party. She got upset and run. Guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Maxine Colfield profile. Max online alias. Mad Max. Max Factor. Noir Angel. Okay. I better tell Chloe about this now. Let's browse this bad boy and get some answers. Ooh, Taylor. Hey Max, hope you're okay. Just wanted to thank you for giving a shit about me and my mum. You cared about Kate when nobody else. Thanks Taylor, I know you care too. Not enough to save her, but I'm here anytime I need to chat. That means a lot to me. Talk soon. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble?
Listen, we don't know that David did anything and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David. And our family. Even if Chloe doesn't. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Oh, this is gonna go badly. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Quick and easy. Ah, uh, Maxine, pop here. Sorry, I haven't gotten in touch. I know you're upset, but your mum and I know you're doing everything you could to save that girl. Something's just out of our control. And if you want to come back home now and relax, maybe go to a high school round here. The door's wide open, love, pop. Thanks, pop. It's been intense, but I'm not ready to come home. Talk later. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Hmm. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Uh, okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off of them, though, freaking nerds. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? 
Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <coughs> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Okay. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Okay. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Black Will for a while. Such a waste. Awful. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. You can use the key information. What can I do for you, Max? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Okay. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. What can I do for you, Max? Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Okay. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Pretty cat. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Maybe we all did. Shit. What are the other signs then? Okay. Let's travel back. Come on. Okay. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Okay. We'll let you forget all of that happened. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Okay. You eat like a pig. 
Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. Huh. I can't talk to anyone. Ah. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Ah. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Okay, that's one answer. Okay. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Ah, yeah, he is some piece of work. Right? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Okay. You can forget that you said anything. Jedi mind tricked. Okay. How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal. I'm glad you represent. Ah. Uh. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Okay. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Okay. Does that give me anything for you? I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. 
and these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Ooh. Now that's an interesting bit of information. Not sure how we can use that. Uh. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Mm -mm. The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Now, does that mean... <laughs> now back to Chloe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set, throw. <laughs> Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we Don't throw it into the road. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. If it's a vehicle, is it still Damn. breaking and entering? My room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Search the van time, huh? Can you scope the area while I hack his computer for info? I think the doggy likes his bone more. Frank Pompidou? <laughs> for reals? That's a poodle's name. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Yuck. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Yeah. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. How can somebody live like this? Good question. Uh, graffiti. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? 
That's a pretty extreme lighter. Whoa. Is Frank going to deal online now? Okay. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Okay. No more secrets. Photo. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Ooh, Frank's stash. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Something to pry open. Not a blowtorch. It's the door in. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Uh, and I think else. Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. I hope you do. I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. No prize here. It's got to be something we can use. Ball. Photos open. I believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. Is there anything there? How can somebody live like this? Nope. Ah. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Oh, this is the one that's almost off. My blade will open any portal. What are you? Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frank B, hope you're reading this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monster monstrous bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompadour. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here. I smile uh, when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did. Uh, don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I've seen you act that way and the next time will be the last. And uh, Leo and L we don't look back. I care about you. So maybe we need to break our routine. Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. Could we only... Well, that's a shame. Is Frank going to deal online now? So, the knife could only be used on one of them. Okay. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. 
I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended Step Stalker! Fuck everybody. Chloe!